So, what's good, YouTube family? This your guy, D. J bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Gonna just got good news, and we're gonna talk about it with receipts and go through about his new release after agreeing to a certain plea. Now, look, I want y'all to hit that notification bell. Thank you for rocking out with the movement. But let's start the show the right way. And before we get started, I need y'all to go follow. The folks you see on the description box, salute the Pesh Mayweather and everybody up in this piece. Now, if you don't know, Gunna was released after pleading guilty in racketeering charges in Atlanta. And let me get the screen um, to overlay the correct way for y'all. But he was going through a lengthy situation where they did not want to grant him any bonds or nothing in particular like that at all. So he finally got the news he wanted so in fulton county prosecutors in may obtained a sprawling 88 page indictment that said members of the young slime criminal organization i know them only as a music group but according to the uh, folks over there they're calling them a criminal organization they're saying that they were collecting money in certain ways and doing certain things now sergio kitchens appeared in court on wednesday and he got this overwhelming news I mean, it, it, it's a whole lot that's been going on with it. Some of the cases in this situation, we can look at it here right now as I'm getting ready to look at it with y'all. But his one was like a lot of people felt he needed to be home. Now, he took an Alfred plea. I know Miko Worldwide also claimed to take in an Alfred P, uh, plea during his little trial. I know Alfred plea is like you're, you feel you're innocent, but based on what the evidence is that they have on you you rather just take like an alfred plea i always thought of these things like no contest but they're taking it as an alfred plea and i've only heard of it in georgia um but the streets like academics were saying i agree with him a lot of folks is gonna say man dude told or he cooperating now let me tell you now gunner was released after you know what i'm saying facing a whole lot of years and he took the best that was the best situation for him by his lawyers now he got to do 500 hours of community service um he basically got five years with a suspended sentence y'all but the streets is gonna be like how he came home so quick like i already could see how it is gonna be i'm happy that man home but i also personally feel like this y'all let me know in the comments if i'm wrong or right now that he's agreed that yso is a criminal organization or whatever can the prosecutors use that against thugger and slime in them you feel me can that be used against them in these situations that's how I'm thinking about the whole thing, bro. Like, did he just mess it with everybody else? Or did he have a conversation with Thugger and them, at least from attorney to th attorney conversation? So, I, I don't know, man. We got to stay tuned with this. I'm going to keep y'all updated on a separate video tomorrow I'll upload. But this is a quick breaking news. Look, man, thank you for rocking out with the movement. If you rock with the channel just do us one favor smash that like button hit that notification bell and thank you for rocking out with the i smoke hip-hop live movement now thugger situation might get a little bit deeper because of this sentence right here y'all let me know of what y'all think about all this look man love your family love your kids and definitely stay blessed gang